back to the Power Republic YouTube channel. Today we're going to be busting out a few projects here. And uh, it's going to be a bit of a condensed episode because we've got a few things to cover. We've got steering wheel installation, exhaust installation, fuel tank, fuel line, fuel pump. So basically it's going to be a complete cut bar the floor tray and the stickers. So we'll be doing that and then these bad boys are going to be ready to hit the track. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do today is to install the seat and seat stays. Now we have covered this before in a previous video and you can check the link right here. Okay, next up we've got the steering wheel installation and the steering wheel wedge. This is a 15 degree Cartmaster with the Micron bracket already attached to it. Yeah. Okay, so next up we're going to install the fuel tank. Turn the steering wheel to the left and that'll get the steering, uh, the Ackerman steering bell out of the way. And you should just be able to feed the tank in across the car. Like so, got a bit of fuel lines there. We're going to cut them off but they'll be the right length. So I want to leave them on and then just pull them off one by one and replace them. Put the fuel tank roughly in position. Now, uh, sometimes these screws, they bottom out when you put them into the fuel tank and it makes the brass nut inside the plastic spin. So just use a little washer there on the other side. And then just adjust the fuel tank around until you can get it into position. Like so. And it's a bit easy with the floor tray missing. And then just do that nut up. Spin him up tight. And that's it, fuel tank's in. Next up is the new fuel line. So we're gonna install our new fuel line here. And if the, uh, sometimes it's a bit tight to get it onto the ends. So I use the uh, circlet pliers and I just put them into the end of the, the fuel line, like so, and just work it around. And that just makes it a little bit bigger than standard and then it just slips straight on. So do the same for the second fuel line. This is going to be the fuel to the fuel pump and the other one that we just installed was the return line from the fuel pump. So the fuel pump is uh, installed onto this bracket here on the engine and then we've got the two lines coming out of there into one and then a T-piece. So this will be the return line will connect to this and then obviously the feed line goes to the carburetor through the filter. And then the other fuel line that will come across is the fuel in. So on the fuel pump it's all marked in, out, out and there's a couple other ones for different models but on this one it's just got the two outlets. So the first one we're going to do is to put the fuel inlet. Okay, so we've just got a little bit of extra there, so we'll get the side cutters and just cut that off. So 
So next up we're going to put in the return line. So I've just run this one across the cart and then I'm just going to mark that off with my um, fingers there. Cut them off. Get the pliers in there. Just give it a bit of, a bit of one of those ones. And then that is the plumbing of the fuel line. Now I'll go back with the zip ties and zip tie all the fuel lines in so it's all nice and neat. And it's job done. Okay, last but not least for today is the exhaust insulation. It's nice and simple. You just slip this joint onto the exhaust socket that's on the engine, attach the two springs, slide this into the silencer, and we're all done. So just this guy here just slips straight on. And then the silencer as well is just a slip joint onto that. And then we just jiggle it around put those springs on and we should be all good. So we get the spring pulling tool like so and just pull those springs on. So that keeps that guy in. So then there's just a little hose clamp set up to keep this spring under tension. So we'll do that guy up with this little ratchet. Okay, so the last bit of this job is just to install the uh, exhaust springs here for the cradles and you just pull that over with the little eye piece. They are a bit of, a bit of a spot. But that ringlet there really makes it easy to pull them on. Do the same here. Okay, so that's the KZ project. We almost a going concern. Fuel tanks in, fuel line, fuel pump, exhaust, obviously the steering wheel. Now we just need to do the floor tray and fill it up with water and we're ready to hit the track. So keep watching the next couple of videos. We're gonna have this out at Extreme Cardi, trying to set a new land speed record with the Power Public KZ build up project. If you've got any questions, please put it in the comment section below. Otherwise, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Power Republic. Or you could also go over to our, our online store, www.powerrepublic.com.au. Grab yourself a t-shirt and a hat, show a little supporter to the friends of Power Republic. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.